Hi everyone, welcome to the next video from our Rooms of Wonder um, steampunk series. Um, we're going to be doing a little crab today. I realise the sun's shining here, but once I um, come in a bit closer, I will move that out of the sun and uh, hopefully it won't disturb us, but it hopefully will make the picture look a little brighter. But there we go. So, crab. I'm using my Castle Arts Metallic again. I'm actually going to start with, I'm going to use the sorts of brownie colours. I'm going to start with the mahogany. And I'm going to do um, the sort of main part of the body. So I'm going to want to do it darker on the edges. So that's what I'm going to do and sort of fade it in a bit as we go. Got to work it around all these little cogs. It takes a little bit of effort, but it's worth it. There we go. Do that centre bit. So I'm just doing all these gaps as well. So I find with a picture like this, where there's quite a lot going on, it can be a lot easier to start with the background then you can sort of see where you're at. And I know this isn't really a background as such, but uh, I would use that as well. My dryer's just beeping, hold on a minute. Right, I am back. I'm gonna continue with this uh, background bit. I, it's gonna be a bit of a race with the sun now it's coming across my desk but uh, I may make it <laughs> gone in actually behind the it's uh, strange weather today it was pouring so heavily just now like I don't know if you do this but sometimes when it's pouring with rain you just can't resist but look outside it was almost that heavy you know to want to watch it I didn't because I was, I was editing a video I wanted to get on so I could come and record, but I have to sort of organise myself a little bit or else I get in a muddle. So I like to. I'm going to pretend we can see through that. We wouldn't. There'd be a. There'd be one through. But uh, so you can see I'm trying to go lighter when we're nearer to the middle. I'm trying to work out what that is. Uh, uh, I think I've coloured this wrong. No, I haven't. That bit actually is all the way around there and joins with that bit. Like, it's that bit I shouldn't have coloured, but never mind. That bit is here too. It's quite complicated, isn't it? <laughs> but still, just going for it. Whether I'm going underneath a cog or not. I'm trying to uh, make it slightly lighter towards the centre of the crab. Just, uh, we haven't got like a complete shine line down the middle because uh, it's a little tricky with this shape to be honest. We can do it on some of the other bits. So that's the body. I think I'm going to do the legs this colour too. So quite dark there. I'm thinking we'll do a shine down the middle like that because not only will it make it look shinier but it will make it look more rounded in shape. Now you could do some of the fatter bits in a different colour but I've decided just to go all for the same colour. It's easier. That's why. Maybe I'm being a bit lazy. But that's okay, as long as it's fun. <laughs> Doesn't matter, does it? So he is a fun one to colour. I wasn't sure how much fun I'd find these, but loads of fun. Really good. 
it's quite satisfying after I think looking at them I think they look good but yeah. Johanna's drawn them really well so great fun to do so again a little bit of darker area near the body and then and then for the rest just keeping the center pale like that and exactly the same on the other side I keep my hand underneath so I don't block it for you. And uh, yeah, quite straightforward. Goodness, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> as soon as I finish this crab, I'm getting a lunch. I thought, you know, I could finish the whole page, but no. <laughs> I shall gather the family and I'm sure we can all have some lunch together. Now I put a table in my kitchen. I was really indecisive this morning at breakfast time. I couldn't decide whether to eat at the breakfast bar or at the table. But I actually put one of my videos on the telly in the kitchen because we've got YouTube on the telly now to see what it looked like. And uh, so I couldn't see. I'm going to have to go around that way. Hopefully you can see. So I couldn't see it from the breakfast bar. So I um, sat at the table. And actually the chairs at the table for me are more comfortable than the breakfast bar stools. But they're still quite comfortable. It's nice to have a back on the chair though, I have to say. But we'll see where we sit later. We'll sort of, we just got to get used to it really. Now this is a sort of concertina effect where I think we would have a dark bit here and here and here and here and under here. And then we would still have a light a bit in the middle. So that's how I'm going to try and do it. It's quite fun. So the same again, darker under here. Now, if you weren't this, these colours, by the way, are more like your sort of sienna browns, um, terracotta, sanguine sort of colour. I didn't really say did I? Four. Of course you can use whatever colour you wish. Okay. Now let's work on this. There's quite a lot of cob work here. There isn't a lot of background. I'm going to go quite dark on this edge as we have done before but it's quite small. So I want to leave a shine bit in the middle. We're going to have to fade quite quickly. That's it. Same here. Actually, it's probably a bit of cog that I've just coloured there. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not going to stress about it. Um, I think that bit's going to be dark there. But I still want to have a shine in the middle. And this one with it shine in the middle. Gosh, it's suddenly the sun's vanished, it's getting really dark. It's gonna rain again, I wonder. <laughs> British weather. It could be a bit of a guessing game. And I think that's why we talk about it so much, because it can be quite interesting. <laughs> now I have to have a look on the other side because I did this one wrong, didn't I? need to copy my mistake across to this side. You don't have to do that if you want to do it correctly. There we go. Now we need another colour for the rest of our cogs. And we could go, what was that one? That was the mahogany. So, oops, that was my ring banging on the table. So here's our mahogany um, there. So we could go for a honey bronze or a moonstone, they're similar, but I'm going to go for the orange. I think it might be fun. So it's called um, Dragon Orange and it's our only real vibrant orange colour. I think it would be quite fun to use here. Now with the cogs like this, I'm going to do what I did before. So I'm going to leave a bit of white there and I'm going to come out there 
and then fade that there and fade that there so it's white in between. Like that. And we do the other ones of this shape as well so that we can remember. Like that. And then this one on this side too. So go right through like a cross and fade. Fill in these areas. It's a bit small here. Do the best you can. Right, for this one I'm going to make it light on the edge. Like on the sides like that and do this one the same oops didn't fade that side very well but never mind and here the same so darker down here fade it up to the edge there we go and here like that and it makes it easier if you do them similarly. You don't have to keep thinking about what to do. Missed a bit of background there. I'm just going to grab the pencil and fill that in. So take this colour up. So you only need the very slightest bit of white and it looks shiny. Which is good. And uh, mm, I think it can be quite effective. I used to find it quite hard to make things that metallic in colours other than greys and gold. But now I'm okay with it. It's just a matter of choosing the right sort of colour. As I said before, if you don't want to choose a sort of pastel -y, milky tone, it's not going to work. But if you pick... Um, a more solid sort of colour then, uh, then you can get a good effect. So I can hear my husband coming downstairs, he's probably hungry, wanting some lunch. I'll uh, do lunch in a minute. So, uh, I've, got, uh, I've got a fair bit to do later. So I'm hoping I can get the last one of these made um, before I um, get busier later. But we'll see. Just doing the same thing again with this one, leave a bit in the middle. Now this, I'm going to make it lighter in the centre at the bottom. Like that. I'm just going to do that bit quite solid. And then the eyes a little white dot in the middle if you can now this bit I did incorrectly I'm just going to leave it but you could um, erase it or you could do it if I was doing it I would do it dark there and just fade it towards there Okay. missed a bit inside that cog there and completely missed it on that cog entirely and I'm going to do that bit too there we go so for this cog, again, the same. Draw that up through to a circle. Leave a white bit if you can. See, mine's not even central. I'm not going to stress. It's fine. And then draw these across until we get some white bits. There we are. Same here, so all the way out. Those and then bring them together, leaving a bit of white in the middle. There we go, and around there. Now we have um, this circular bit. I think I'll just do it darker top and bottom like I often do. Same with this one. So a bit of white on that edge. I just filled that right in, it's too small. Leave that a bit lighter. 
tighter in the middle like that and the other side I just had a paranoid look at the camera to see if it was recording it was you know that <laughs> there we go dot and done so there is our crab I think he's quite fun so uh, well done Johanna I think he's great so as I say you could have done some of these thicker bits in the orange if you wanted a bit of different colours on the legs but I'm happy with it looking like that so there he is and we have our fish left for the last one so it's going to be fun looking forward to him but uh, for now thank you very much for watching um, do click subscribe if um, you want notifications of when my videos are coming out it also supports the channel and makes me smile so thank you to all of you that already are subscribed um anyway for now thank you for watching and happy coloring <laughs>